Okay, so here's how this is going to work. One, a quick reminder to everybody that this is going to be purely based off of my opinion and my opinion alone. You can disagree. Feel free to disagree. Welcome back, Llama. I hope stretches went well. Um, fight in the comments if you feel like it, but don't actually fight. We don't want to see actual fights here. Um, I'm kidding. Just understand that my opinion can be different from yours. That's okay. Uh, it's based off of the the most current version of the game as of March 1st, 2024. So, uh, take that as you will. The game is probably going to change. They're in the middle of changing a lot of the rats and stuff. Second, third, something. Um, ranking is based on uh, gameplay. My preferred, you know, style, really, which is why this could go for anywhere. And also just generally how I've seen these perform, how strong OP they are. It's okay if they're OP, that just makes them really high on the thing. Um, we're not ranking them off of, like, how fun it is to play here, although that will maybe count factor in a little bit, but, like, more just can we agree, are they really strong, are they not? Like, uh, S is going to be, like, they probably actually need to be nerfed, they're so good. Um, A is they're perfect as they are, uh, like, B is, like, mid. C is, like, okay, maybe they could use a little boost. And D is, they could really use boosts. Um, I don't think anything is going to be in D. I think they're relatively well balanced right now. Um, that being said, uh, Crusader is going to be this bong B we have right here. And this box is going to be um, the new... Oh my god, what's her name? I'm so bad at her name. She's a fencer. Fuck. What's her name? Yeah, Bounty Hunter is going to be a little weird to bring. Duelist. Thank you. Duelist. Um, I will explain my opinions and everything alongside. I will also be reading chat in the meantime. Sorry you guys can't see chat. I could probably make that work, but I don't feel like it, so. Uh, chatters who are here, feel free to make your commentary. I'll read it out loud. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll start. Speaking of, uh, the first one up is going to be Bounty Hunter. My opinion on Bounty Hunter is B. He's very... <laughs> uh, I'll read out what I feel like reading out. No commentary. Um, Here's the thing about Bounty Hunter. One, I don't use him very much. I find that a lot of the ca other characters do have more interest or function than him. And to be honest, like Bounty Hunter, even in the first game, feels just very like... He's strong. Don't get me wrong. But also it's like he's nothing special either, right? He does, like, he in this game he deals a very tiny amount of bleed if you want, and he does some nice status effect work. Um, but other than that, he doesn't, like, super stand out. Um, I don't think he necessarily needs a lot of changes. It's just, like, he's okay. He's super middle of the road. Um, did you want flashback on its way to get <laughs> Love to DD1, but he lost to Man at Arms. Yeah, Man at Arms is really strong. You can see he's stat wise the strongest of the game, but he's more of a temporary boost. Yeah, exactly. He's not also not like a full character. And that's like, he's a nice boost to your team in that all of his stuff is upgraded and so on. Like, again, beneficial, but like, he's not exactly going into your final team because you literally can't. So it's like, okay, it's a vibe. Um, next, Grave Robber. See, I love Grave Robber. Here's the thing. I really love Grave Robber. And I am debating between A and B. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. I don't think she's terrible. I don't think she's, like, I don't think she's S tier, though. She's not OP. She doesn't really need to be nerfed. She's either upper B tier or lower A tier for me. Because, like... I guess with her last batch of buffs, she does have the blight, the extra blight, and I do think that improves her quite a bit. Um, so I'd say maybe lower A tier. A minus. She gets an A minus. You know, really good, but not perfect, right? Um, she still has some nice damage output and stuff. I just, like, she's not quite as outstanding as quite of the other characters. She can dodge techno, which is cool. Yeah, she's interesting. I don't know. I, I love her a lot, but something just doesn't quite feel, like, really strong about her. 
put rubber to be simply because you're still salty about the insane nerf. Night's word. Exactly. And she also got a major nerf recently. Aside, like, she's gotten some boost to her blight, which is nice. But she has gotten quite a nerf as well. Um, which really keeps her from being too high. Um... Best David is crit, your crit like it's zero. See, I find, and then Louis with like, say dodge is OP. I think, I believe dodge doesn't exist. Dodge isn't real. But also generally, I find that it's not great to rely on dodge in this game. <laughs> Relying on dodge is just asking for trouble. Um, at least for me. Um, yeah, I can't rely on luck. And that really keeps her from being an upper A or even S. I, She's really leaning towards upper B tier. I might adjust this later, but this is this is where I'll leave her for now. Doesn't have a defined role. Exactly. She is very much a jack of all trades. Like I do everything. She, yeah. Um, I have enjoyed her though. In the past, in the past few times that I've been playing her, like especially with the most recent update, she's actually quite nice. Um, she feels good and she kind of fits in every team. She's just not like she's not a team player either. She's not the main anything, and she's not a team player. She very much plays for herself, and that's great. So do you do a DD1 you use to stack edge tickets? <laughs> yeah. Alright, Helion. I really I haven't played Helion in a while, I will admit. But I am going to say that Helion is A tier. Great rubber, because she's not Yeah, you know what? Maybe you know what the D I think you guys are right. Never mind. B tier. Helian S tier. I... The only reason I don't put Helian in S tier, which... Well, one, as I said, it's kind of like if you need to nerf it, then it goes there, right? Um, is that she is really strong, and she has a nice higher consistent damage output than certain characters. <coughs> Never. But, yeah, she lacks versatility. Um... You did be too to okay. No, no, no. Lori... Uh, Lorraine, we were we were already debating the entire time between A and B, and I think I think she's an upper B tier. Um, Helian though is she's A tier because she's really solid. She plays really great where she does. Um, she's also not a huge team player, but like she plays really consistently well. But she's not like over OP, I would say. Right? Like, her bleed stuff, for example, can only be played from positions that aren't her ideal position. And she has the whole, like, her ability makes her weaker thing. Like, she has big bonks, but not the biggest bonks, right? Like, that, that's why sh I'd say she's kind of in the middle here. I, or, or slightly above middle. She's slightly above middle, but not, not too OP. Now, here's the thing about Jester. I don't know where to put... No sweat. Not right now. Also, all of them. A tier, all of them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know what is... Past skin is playable? Uh, some of them you can play with different skins. It is fun. He is just damage... Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go back then. I'll give it a second. Um... He is just damage, probably the most swingy taunter and basically outcast. Her. Yeah, exactly. She has a lot of people who are a lot better than everything, but she's pretty solid in everything. She's not best in everything, but she's not worst in each of her things either. In fact, she's not even close. She's like second in everything she's good at. Yeah, so here's the thing. Oh yeah, true, he does have the stress. So I would call him lower S tier, but that's mostly because of the way I play him. I don't play him with Encore. But stress heal is really, really good and very important in this game, honestly. Um, he has just nice move abilities, all this stuff. I don't necessarily want him to be nerfed, but in terms of like where he stands compared to other characters, he is very much on the be better end of characters. Like, he's very good. Just a fucking little guy you'd like to talk Me and your opinion, see, because they're taught to get the shit compared to everybody else. It's, I, I like Helion overall. Also, I will admit, I think in some ways I'm a little biased toward the female characters, being of such myself. Uh, it depends, though. <laughs> just a fucky little guy you'd like to hug the Jester? <laughs> Jester is great in DD1. Jester has just always been really solid. He's always been a good character. I think having a good mobile character with, honestly... Based off of if you guys saw earlier this stream, with how much fucking damage he was doing was impressive. 
But, like, I wouldn't say he's the number one character either. He's really, really up there, but number one belongs to... <clears throat> Man, I arms... What? Um, we'll talk about him in a minute. He's the only bleed of Jester. The river's a bleed. Bleed Jester is fun. Yeah. Like, he's interesting in his own way. I like him quite a bit. Jester is so broken it's silly. Fidelia, quest... I mean... That needs more than one action. But it needs an action at least to set up. And, like, it sure doesn't outclass Leper. <laughs> I don't think it's that broken. <clears throat> I don't know. It's... Let's see. Also, I'm curious what your hot take is, Wedge. So DD2 Jester actually plays with the other team members by changing the regs. Yeah, exactly. And I like that. I think it's fun. No, it doesn't. This straight up based off of literally what I just saw, having both of them in the team, it, it does not outclass Leper. But yeah, Jester is pure fun, so I don't want it to get nerfed. But it's great. Hot take is that going to be a Jester, but the next lad? Ah, Leper. Leper. Let's talk about Leper. This will be fun. Here's, here's my feeling about Leper. I'm not going to put him in a tier. I'm going to set him down in a tier, but I'm not saying this is his final tier because I want to discuss this a little bit. Here's the thing. I that's that's the thing, Wedge. Sometimes he is completely unreliable goes into C, right? On other times like the team we just played, he's fucking OP as shit. Like Leper is so fun and I really like him. But he is better than he was in DD2, DD1 because of his accuracy. Like, he has a better accuracy, and now you can practically negate his accuracy debuffs by just having him have enough debuff resist. Exactly. I think he's A tier, and I think he's higher than Helion in A tier. Yeah, having some preparations for a leper, but if you have it, it's fantastic. That being said, if you get him out of position and you're not ready for that, you're fucked. <laughs> Don't worry, exactly. Three, get speed. I press to deal with blinds. It really depends on how you like to play a game, honestly. And as I said at the start of this, all my opinion. <laughs> Here's the thing. I would typically, I think, choose Leper over Jester a lot of the time here in terms of playing. In terms of if I were to rank them fun playability, I think Leper is up in S and Jester is more for A for me just because of personal preferences. But in terms of capability, because Leper is such a wild card on if he's either going to be incredibly good for your run, you get a bunch of boosts, etc, etc, or you get absolutely nothing, that's where I put him. Yeah, exactly. Team restrictions due to position changes, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, he's very fun. The problem, though, though with... So, Name name Not Loading said Leper's good because spamming it and Sam and Solemnity is the best dedicated tank of the game. But the problem is Solemnity doesn't last forever. You also don't lose out if you run Leopard. That's true. You can't make him generic if you just want to draft tank. I agree. Um, I think he's really great. He's probably the best in A tier, if not close to, like, low S tier, at least. Um... Sometimes his damage could use to be nerfed a little bit, but honestly, he could also hit so low sometimes it's frustrating. So, who's the best second position healer? Run away. Oh, there's Flagellant. Actually, that's a fair point. Maybe Flagellant, but I'd love Runaway. I'm gonna get into that later. Does Leper still struggle with stress? Uh, not particularly. Flagellant struggles more with stress than anybody. Leper has several stress-reducing things. Like, I would say he's the top of A tier. Um, I don't necessarily think he needs any nerfs. He's just a really, really solid character. Religious characters don't matter now, though. Louis, not in this game. Okay. I would be shocked if anybody disagrees with me on this. Feel free to disagree, but I'd be shocked if you do. Man at Arms is top S. Yeah. Man at Arms is... Man at Arms is so OP, he's boring. And it's why I don't play him a lot. I love him for the fact that, like, I can win at any point with him. But he is so fucking good. <laughs> like, he 
Yeah, he is kind of like S plus, basically. Like, I love him, and I again, I don't know really want anybody in S tier to be nerfed. But technically, if you want them to be on the same levels of everybody else, they kind of need to be a little nerfed. And and he is definitely up there. I yeah, nobody in chat really disagrees. He's just like, and he even does do a decent chunk of base damage. He's so good on his own. He's so good in a team. He has stress heals, buffs, damage, proposed, like, everything. Yeah. Maybe not nerf, but more difficult to play, which make Yeah. I don't know. Whatever the... If they do adjust him at all, like, he's just so good. Base version is good. His paths are good. He's just great. Welcome to Man Hours. <clears throat> okay. Occultist, I need some of you guys' feedback on. Based off of how I've recently played with him, yeah, I'm thinking Cultist is A, especially after his buffs. I'd say he's on the lower end of A, but I do think he is A. I would be willing to talk with him about being in B, though. You made a meme about the Cultist? I feel like the Occultist still struggles with a few of his abilities. His paths are okay, his, like... He's relatively mid in some ways, but he has really nice damage output when he wants. And his heals, his at least relatively guaranteed heals, are generally really good. Yeah, and I love his pulls. I love how much back rank damage he does. I... It's also, you made a meme about the occultist. <laughs> what is it? So the... But is this probably yeah like i think he's generally quite good um i would probably put him above healing and honestly um i think on, on uh yeah feel free to post me link go ahead and I, I trust you well enough i would not put him above leper i would say though he's really strong especially post buffing a few months ago um i think in the past he was like c tier <laughs> at least um, <clears throat> but as he is now, I think he's perfect. I don't think he needs any changes. Actually, speaking of, I did kind of say that B was changing. We were talking earlier that healing and kind of needs some changes. I don't know. I'll leave her in low A. But, um, was realistically C, not currently C. Think that he's, uh, he's the only one that could do 20 plus without a crit and 40 with crit, uh, except for Leper, who is also an A tier here. <clears throat> he's not even that glass, though. That's the thing. Like, Occultist is part of my really stupid team that just can't die for some reason. That team being Leper, Occultist, uh, Flagellant, and um, Highwayman. Yeah. Occultist, Helium, still thing. Is it a thing? I've never heard of that. <clears throat> it's more Glass Cannon, but not really a Cannon DD1. Yeah. He's, he's really fun. I like him. He's really solid. <clears throat> <laughs> I I think I don't think there's anything he needs changed about him and that's why I think he should be here. That makes me want to put Helene in B. We'll see. I don't know. It's fun. Thing with the god is that although it's very much a gamble, it's very Yeah, it is generally a favorable gamble. I would agree with that. And honestly, with the with the current builds, with the current classes and teams that are in the game, sometimes it can be advantageous to bleed characters. Case in point, last time when we were running Ruin on Leper. It's like, you can make even his worst part, like, positive. And I think that's what makes him really solid. But, like, I don't know why he is an OP. I guess he just, I guess mostly because of his heal, I suppose. And I guess, I think, aside from his ult, functionally, he doesn't have anything that's super duper OP. All of them are solid. Nothing's crazy OP. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Also tentacles, of course. Um, alrighty. 
Plague Doctor, I am putting an S tier. Yep, absolutely. Second best after Men at Arms. Yep, you're you, Wedge. We are right on the same on that. Yeah, Plague Doctor is yeah best healer. Obviously not as good like at as healing over time than than Vestal, for example. But if you play your cards right, you won't even need it. Having so much dot. PD having triple type dot is mwah. I love her for that. Yeah, I don't play in discriminate science, unlike uh, I think most people who play her, but she's still incredibly fun anyways. Does plus bleed increase the odds of bleeding teammates? Uh, depends. If you're talking about plus bleed, like, or like lowering bleed resist, then yeah. Right, Vestival, yeah. Like, just... Uh, Plague Doctor has such good potential heal. All, I would say... I would argue to say at least two, if not all three, like, paths of Plague Doctors are really solid. Um, I really just enjoy playing her. Like, she's the one that I reach for every single time I want to play a team. Um, she's not boring in the way that Man at Arms is. Probably because the, I think... And here's the thing, chat... I think that Plague Doctor has, like, some of the most, like, you can use almost every single one of her abilities. Pretty much all of them are good, all of them are fun, and you can build her in, like, a dozen different ways. And it's really fun. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't have any things that, like, necessarily drag her down. But, like, yeah, Plague Doctor improved so much between the game. Like, She's just great. I love her. She is, I would agree, probably second best in game. That being said, there's quite a few really good characters. PD was your first champion to stay alive when fighting the boss. Early in access. She's so great. Alright. Now, Runaway. I want to love Runaway so much, and I do. I adore Runaway. However, however, she is B. I don't think she's quite C. She could use a little bit of tweaking, but I don't think she's C. Honestly, I'm not sure there is any C's, in my opinion. I kind of, I think everybody is a little bit of tweaking in one direction or another at most, but nothing too much. I love her heal, and it is my favorite heal in the game. I think PD could be considered the first healer in A. Really? You don't think she uses S? I don't know. Um, I love, so here's the thing, Runaway, when Runaway works, Runaway fucking works, but the problem is, is getting her to the point where she works can be a little tough, and she's really good at dying for some reason, and I don't quite know why. That being said, she has the most consistent, strong-ass heal in the game. I, I think people are missing out on how good her heal is. <laughs> Um, also, she can give other people increased damage. She can play from any position. No, she's a great team player. She has, okay, here, I'm gonna, sorry, I have the skills up right now. Like, if I look at her skills, um, one, she plays with, uh, with, uh, the targeting thing. I don't remember, I don't remember what the term is for that, actually. Combo. She plays with combo, so she plays with anybody who does combo. Um... She heals others. She removes a stealth from the other team. She can move the enemy team as well as herself. She can give. She has fire starter, which can give other characters like apply on hit. She gives stuff blind and combo as well as playing off of combo if she wants. Like, she's so good. <laughs> but she's somehow not there at the same time. I love her. I don't mind if other people disagree with me, but I love her. I don't think it's a good kid at all. Like, like I was doing with her capabilities last time, I was doing... I was having Plague Doctor giving 10 times 3 burn damage last time. It was great. Her self-move does drag her down a little bit. But the thing is, is you could also just play it where she has at least one of stuff in the front and one of stuff in the back, and then you play other stuff. That's how I play her. And I like her. Run away in early access rather than later updates. Interesting. 
Yeah, I I don't mind going against the the river on this against the rest of chat. I think she's B tier. I really love her. Maybe maybe not as good as Grave Robber, but I still love her, and I she has a special place in my heart. All right, Flagellant. I'm debating between S and A. You'd actually put her in A? I appreciate that, Turgeman. I also like having a full burn character. <laughs> nice. I'm debating on S or A. He's either top A or low S, in my opinion. He did have some recent changes. I don't know. Well, let me let me hear some arguments for why. Uh, so I should I guess I should talk about like some of his benefits and negatives. Obviously, I had a lot of problem with him. So I lo had a lot of problem with him at the start of the game when he doesn't have any of his like reasonable healing abilities. He is really good later game. Actually, no, I know exactly why I want to put him in here. He is really good in later game, except he pulls death. He literally, in, I, now why, while death hasn't typically caused me, like, the ending, ending problems, like, really major issues. Low <laughs> Here's the thing. He is really not great at the start. And yeah, if you play him for her, but it's annoying to have to even run into her in the first place. And I have had times where I ran it have into her after fucking mini bosses when you're already struggling in case for f in position two you can use him as a tank healer combo creator shuffler you lost his image but you opened yourself up to bringing three people for damage <clears throat> i don't know i don't love that he loses health i don't play well with this and for my personal playstyle, as much as i love him in some ways i do struggle yeah as maniac and here's the thing is also he has like his paths are kind of all over the place Yeah, it can give good stuff, but it's also really frustrating to run into death, for example, after a boss when you've been really struggling, you haven't had any healing in a while. I I like him, but I don't love him in the same way that like I love PD, right? I think he is top of A tier at least. But he's just not quite so OP that he practically needs a like a like a nerf, right? <clears throat> Didn't know you could find many bosses. <laughs> no comment. Um, yeah, that's. I I can understand the cases. Also, he's not the greatest in the back either. He's not quite as versatile as like. Know how like all three of these are versatile in at least three positions in S tier. He's not the most versatile, and he can be a play team player, but I think he plays best on his own. I think he plays best without focusing him too much on your team. I think there are better healers than him. He's great for Blight, but he's not super excelling in a lot of ways. PD can play in second. She's not great in second, but like she is capable of moving into it if necessary. He never dies. I've had him die to death before. I don't know. He give us indiscriminate science. That's that's a fun concept. I've never thought of doing that. Stealing negative tokens and healing him with indiscriminate. I want to try that combo sometime. <laughs> he does have a really really good heal, at least personal heal. I don't know. He's a bit too much of a wild card in certain ways. He's really, really solid, don't get me wrong. I just don't quite see him being S. He's very much a 1-2 position only kind of person. PD usually has a decent health for me, actually, Name. I don't know why you're having trouble with her. Maybe because you're not pushing enough health on her, but... I don't usually get PD one-shot at all. In fact, PD is very different for me than, say, Runaway, who struggles. I think I think A tier is really solid. I here's the thing. If we're also look at DD1. 
he was undeniably stupid fucking OP in DD1. Like, the the S plus that, you know, Man at Arms is in this game, right? And this, he's he's just a little bit more toned down. In a good way. That's that's my opinion. Anyway, alright. D D1, he was above what Man at Arms is a DD2. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And I think almost for that he deserves something good. Uh, anyway, alright. Dismiss. I think is middle of A tier. I don't think he needs adjustments. I think he's great. Yeah, exactly. He has had some slight nerfing recently. He's not terrible. He's really solid overall. Like, there is no team he's not good in. I think he's fun. He's good, like, he's good melee. He's good, like, I like his repost, actually. I was doing, I was having a lot of fun running him repost recently. Um, I, like, I love his ranged. He's really nice if you want to deal with second boss. Like, he's not a guaranteed you have to bring for chapter two boss, but he's really fucking useful for it. Like, I think he's really solid, but he doesn't need any changes. Have you seen D? I mean, we could, but here's the thing is, they're also like... CD is implying, like, some major changes are needed. I think that's... So the way I described it earlier is, like, you know, C is like, okay, they really need to change this. D is, like, practically unusable, right? I don't think anybody in this game is practically unusable. This was just a pre-made thing, too, that list that I found, right? Highwayman is really fun with point blank shot. Of course, it only hits first position, so it has limited use, but it's fun. Yeah, D is definitely empty. I don't know. I think I think that the like Highwayman is like similar to how like um, other characters are like second best at everything. He's basically second best at almost everything. Of course, he doesn't have a heal. But, like, he's just really strong in every category, just not the strongest. And nowhere near the weakest. And I think he's great. He does well in a dancing team. He does well in a still team. He does well in first, second, third, and fourth positions. I love it. What'd you expect all she does is first? Yeah. Alrighty. I, I don't think there's any doubt. He, mi middle of A tier. Pretty much the most basic, but fun. And just straightforward. We like him. Alrighty. Alrighty, Vestal. I think Vestal is upper A tier. And upper A tier, not S tier because she's just not quite as flexible as other S tier characters. However, she's... You really think C for Vestal, really. See, here's the thing. I think she's quite tanky and she doesn't die and that's really nice. I don't think she needs any boosts. I think C is B should use more like the character that only exists in one situation. I can see that. So nothing, not second best. The only thing that serves her for D is preemptive healing and the fact she does it. But that's the thing. She's reliable. I think that's really good to have on a team. I think that's what makes her on A. Because also, some of these A tiers, Leper, Occultist, are fucking unreliable. <laughs> She isn't a pure healer, I would agree that. But, like, I think the fact that she can hit any position is really nice. She can hit, like, pretty hard when she wants to. Like, she has general capabilities. She's not, like, the best. You know what? She's probably not better than these two, I guess. But, like, as consistency for a healer, she's fun. I really liked using her um, as a buff build, actually. I was recently running her on... Is it called Seraph, I believe? Um... Yeah, I've been running her on Seraph. That's really fun, actually. Um, it's really, really nice for just boosting your teams as a whole. I think she's just really solid. She doesn't die. She's not like Runaway who just dies in a blow. It's I I enjoy her a lot. For that. That being said, she's also kinda boring in the way that Men in Arms is as well. And so yeah. Uh hello there. Is Vestal not a slow death kind of situation? Her buffed buffs are very strong. Amazing compared to DD1, but 
Yeah, I would agree she's a little lackluster, but... I don't think she's too terrible. I mean, you know what? Okay. You know what? I'll take you guys on the point that she's lackluster, but I think if we put her in B, I think we need to put Helion in B, too. In which case, you know what? Fine. We agreed we might change some stuff. I will put Mr. Bounty Hunter in C tier then. Purely because as much as like stat wise he's really strong. I think I need more of a reason to use him. Treasure needs three turns for give shit to deal. She's fun. I still like her. Also, name you're coming up very strong right now, by the way. <laughs> I think I think that you know what? Bounty Hunter, I think, should have a reason, like a really good reason to use him. And he doesn't quite have like a really good reason to use him. Rarely is he going to be better in a singular team com. Can you make a less family friendly joke? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Uh that being said it Fair enough. Nobody got the <laughs> Nobody got the beep. Valid point. One moment. Uh, I need to add something here. You're welcome. <laughs> wild, wild. Alrighty, let's see. Bounty Hunter for you is usually, I just want to kill Lair Boss of Region 1. Yeah, like, you could absolutely do that. But, yeah. I don't know. I think he could be less lackluster. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Alright, so this is our, uh, crap, what's his name? I forgot. Uh, Crusader. That's his name. I remembered. I'm good at this. Crusader. I think he's S tier. I think. Yeah. He's a dragon that trades a DD1, but what about DD2? <laughs> really? Sorry, that deserves a quote, too. I'm sorry, that's... Louis... I know you were feeding in for that, but still. Can you please quote that? <laughs> Can't play Wise Vessel. She's not, though. Name. In fact, I have won the game with her. And actually, I think I won my Grand Slam with her. She's actually really useful. Remember failing him so hard in the past, you need to play a DD2 again then? Yeah, so I think that... Yeah, Crusader is a DD2 now. He's... So here's the thing. I really like Crusader. I like that he has burned now. All of his abilities are good. Or at least pretty much all of them. Um... He tanks. He is one of the few people who can help you beat boss three. Um. <laughs> uh. I, yeah, I like his bird. I like his hits. He has execution, which isn't super common now. Um, and I like that he has execution. Uh, he plays with everybody. He has heals. He has stress heals. He heals himself. He's uh, kind of as I've experienced him in the past. He's really similar. Actually, you know what? The heals put him up. Um. He's really similar to uh, to Man at Arms. And this is how I've always felt about them. I've always felt that they don't really need two of them. I think they did a better job at distinguishing these two this time. Giving Crusader, Burn, and Man at Arms more, like, um, buffs and stuff. But I I think Crusader's last tier. <laughs> Crusader beating boss three is why I use him. Exactly the same. Uh, let's see. Zeta is Vestal's reliability on an actual good character, but he lacks the broken factor the other s tier. I don't know. I think he's so similar to Man at Arms, I think they both deserve the, the high rating. If if we are putting Man at Arms in S tier, I see he goes into S tier too. That's kind of my perspective. If, if Man at Arms were to go into A tier, he would go into A tier as well. Because I think they are two of the most similar characters in this game. Aside from perhaps kind of Leper and Helion, honestly. 
But yeah. That's my opinion. Okay. And then, uh, and then finally is, uh, uh my beloved, uh, duelist. All right. Duelist, my dear. My dear, my dear, my dear. Oh, hey, Nameless Mirror. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome in. I want to love Duela so much. I really love the way she works. But I do not think... Yeah, I think she's... Beef. I do not think she has enough going for her. I think it is... I love her animation so much. I, I love the way she makes you think and makes you... Like, you're not just spamming the same stuff over and over again. Put John Dungeon in SD right now. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to see you again, Nameless. <laughs> um, Man at Arms is broken. But that's the thing is I think Crusader also has... So here, here, let me... Okay, one second. We're going to go back to... We'll come back to do a list. Hmm. Man at Arms has... Let's see. Uh, heal slash damage. Um, push. Uh, defense. Stress heal. Uh... I guess defense again, um, debuffs, debuffs, buffs, defense, defense, uh, I, strategic withdrawal I don't even use. We aren't even counting that, right? <clears throat> you don't have a ton of damage on him. That being said, it, the, uh, like, he has a few things that do damage and they're solid enough, right? They're just not super high damage. <clears throat> Crusader has intense damage with execution and de-stressing on it. Uh, debuffs with damage. Uh, dot, which uh, hits multiple positions. Um, better de-stress. Debuff, or sorry, uh, buffing. Um, debuffing. A really strong heal that can also heal himself upgraded. Um, a push forward, just like Man at Arms, that also does a debuff. Or, sorry, not debuff. Um, does, uh, dot. A defense with healing. Another self-healing. And another type of, like, healing. Like, I, just, I do not see how he is not incredibly strong. Problem with Man at Arms is precisely that it doesn't have big bonk, but he doesn't need it. And I think Crusader has a bigger bonk than Man at Arms and has all of a lot of the same benefits. Just leans more towards dot rather than debuffing. And still has debuffing. Anyway, and they're both team players. Man at Arms slightly more. Anyway, sorry, we're going back. So, okay. Back to this. I really like Duelist, but I I have to agree with the concept that sometimes she's a little too complicated for for using, right? I think sometimes just her abilities are a little too much, a little too complicated, hard to follow. And I really I really like her. She's beautiful and she plays fun, but she doesn't have enough damage output. And with absolutely no dot, her repost is fun, but she's not quite tanky enough to hit, take all the hits. Um, I really like the idea of her, um, of what do you call it? I love the idea of her intrepid path, but the dodge in this game is just not quite good enough for that, right? Like, she just needs some improvements. I really love her. I want her to be higher. She deserves to be higher. She's just not quite there yet. I was like, hi, Balthazar. Nice to see you. Yeah, she accepts what you played ahead, and that relies on the enemy. Exactly. Not ruining your plan. Exactly what you say, Wedge. She has so much potential, and I love her, but she's not quite there yet. Like, here's the sad thing, though. All of the women are in some of the worst tiers. This hurts my heart. Boost the women, please. We deserve to all be as good as the Plague Doctor. 
I think she'd be A if she had less move on her attacks. I mean, some of her her adjustments, the like some of her abilities do keep her from moving so much. I think she just needs a little bit more damage output, a little more base damage output, or a little bit more variability that increases her damage output, right? I think so often her damage just hits for under 10 all the time. And that's just pretty rough. So yeah. Simple. You're either perfect like PD or average. Technically these are slightly under average. Average would be somewhere around Dismiss, I would say. But yeah. Yeah, and Duelist needs more HP. Her base damage needs to go up a little bit. Her HP needs to go up a little bit. But... But they're wonderful, and I love her anyway. <clears throat> Don't boost the women give chest. <laughs> to I love her. Don't get me wrong. And honestly, she's one of my favorite characters to play just because of the way you have to figure her out. I think she's really cool with that. But yeah, she needs, she needs a little bit more. And she'll get there one day. Alrighty. That being said, there you go. There's, there's my personal tier list. I think Mana Arms and PD are best. I think the only person who could really use something more to make him like worth pulling is is the uh, is the Bounty Hunter himself. I love a lot of the even lower characters, and I think that's why we want them to be upgraded is because, you know, there's a lot of love for them. Some of them don't need to be changed. Some of them probably do. I don't really necessarily want anybody to be nerfed. It's fun, but I can understand. <clears throat> you don't agree with this leper propaganda? Of being high or low? Leper is funny in... Uh, in... A, but... Like, I just... I really like him, but I don't think he needs changes. I think he's pretty solid overall. He can do so much damage when he wants to, but he's also, like, lacks any mobility at all. If you ever want to try something fun, feel free to try a PD Flagellant. Oh, yeah. It's not it's not quite as fun in the same way, but, oh, God, PD Flagellant in DD1 is so much fun. Here's your... I know where I said I was not enough festival usage. You can have your own opinions, name. You, as you pointed out, you play some really wild shit. But, um, I play Vesta plenty, and I, she, again, she literally has helped me win a Grand Slam. So, yeah. Again, all my own opinions based off of my own play 